so we can enjoy Eid with the baby. Planning to have the baby at hospital, but it all happened a bit quicker than that, so I ended up being at home. <laughs> The grandparents join in the celebrations with Armani and Raquel. What's this? After the birth, we have to do a number of rituals. So when I, first time I took uh, my new daughter, I did the adhan, which is a call to prayer, in her right ear. And then I took a little bit of soft date, uh, mushed it up and just put a little in her mouth which is a tradition of the Prophet Sallallahu Then uh, on the seventh day we're going to try and choose a name. Uh, me and Yasmin are disputing about that at the moment, but hopefully come to agreement by then. And we also need to sacrifice the sheep and give some of the meat to uh, family and friends and keep some of the meat for ourselves. Also on the seventh day uh, we'll shave the baby's hair and then we have to weigh it and give an equivalent amount of silver to charity. Um, I remember doing that with Amani and um, she had quite a big head of hair and it only came to about 50p so I think it would probably be able to give a bit less on this occasion because this one doesn't seem to have much hair. Eid is very important that it keeps and it maintains that family bond and it brings families together and you celebrate with the family and the celebrations for example children will receive uh, gifts or money as they did when I was younger we used to receive money we'd always look forward to Eid because we used to think okay you know so and so he'll give me about three pound and he will give me a pound and we would try to add up how much we were going to make on the Eid day and I don't think it's any different for the children now I think they look forward to it, there's an anticipation for Eid During the uh, time of uh, Eid, everybody would wear their best clothes or their uh, favourite uh, clothes and uh, something that the Muslims would do every uh, Eid The leader, the last and final of the questions and this person has five points Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Give me six, man. Six? Yeah. Do you know anything about Eid? What? Hey. Do we fast on Eid? No. No. Do we pray on Eid? Yes. Uh, so you know something about Eid then? <laughs> Just come to my um, mother-in-law's house to spend um, the day Eid with the family and everything. So we just had some lovely food, a whole banquet of food. <laughs> Kids have opened their presents. And it's just nice just spending the day with the family and just enjoying the day together, celebrating that Ramadan's over. Eid is like uh, a time for happiness, but it's also tinged with a bit of sadness because uh, it's the end of the holy month of Ramadan. You know, a time when the devils were changed and a, a chance when the gates of paradise are open. So although, you know, uh, to most people it seems odd that, you know, we'd miss going without food, but the whole community uh, really misses the end of Ramadan, but uh, I think we've got the best Eid present we have this year, so uh, that's certainly made our Eid. So what has Ramadan meant this year for the Salafi brothers and sisters of Brixton Mosque and the Luton Call to Islam Centre? Well, Ramadan this year for me uh, has been a very spiritual time. And I think it's also been a time of reflection and especially bearing in mind and thinking about the events of Pakistan as well. You know, my Ramadan has always been my, the best time of the year for myself. That uh, you know, you're, invo you're involved in this act of uh, fasting, worshipping, and you find that during Ramadan also, you have the opportunity to meet many, you see many faces that you normally would not see throughout the years. And I can't wait for another one to come. I'm always sad when it goes, you know, because, you know, it's such a unity here, you know, such a, you know, belong, you know. It's been good, mashallah. I think uh, what you learn, the more Ramadans you have, is that Ramadan is what you make it. This is a time that uh, you can somewhat relax and reflect upon our duties as a Muslim. I think at the end of Ramadan, there's always that personal satisfaction of what we've achieved during Ramadan and that hope that Allah accepts our good deeds from us. It's been a test like it is that everyone has tests during Ramadan as well. But uh, mashallah, it's been good. Alhamdulillah. I think the whole issue of the tragedy in Pakistan really brought home to me this year how fortunate I am that I lived through this Ramadan. I wish we have another month. What we don't